So I've already opened up sales chart and saved it as seven dash sales chart. Uh, the file is in your Excel level one, chapter seven folder, the EL one C seven folder. And I'm going to highlight this range of cells and we're going to go into insert and we're going to take a look at what charts Excel recommends for this type of data. And this little feature, recommended charts, is actually quite useful uh, if you aren't real familiar with the different chart types and what they are used for. Because if you click on these, you will notice that it is showing you what it's going to look like and basically telling you what that type of chart is used for. So depending on the purpose of the chart, that will affect which one you select. Now they would like us to pick the top one. So I'm going to make sure that one is selected and I'm going to click OK. And they would like us to make this a little bit bigger, about a half an inch bigger. And to resize this, if you want to keep the height and the width in proportion, you're going to want to position the mouse over a corner sizing handle. And when you see a double-headed arrow, you can left drag and make it a little bit bigger. Now they would also like us to move the chart so it's below the data. So to move the chart, you do need to see the four-headed arrow. And you have to be a little careful when you're dragging the chart because if you actually point at the title or a different component, you may move the component within the chart. So the safest thing to do is actually to position kind of over the border. And you will see a chart area tip display. And once you're on the border, you can left drag. And then you're moving the chart and you're not moving any components that are inside the chart. And once we've got this chart repositioned, we are going to adjust the contents of some of the cells. And because the chart is connected to the cells, you will see the chart change as we modify the data. So they want us to go to cell B2 and change the value to 421,720. I'm just gonna press enter. You should notice the, the bar adjust just a little bit. And we're gonna go to D2 and I'm going to change that value to 397,460. Okay, and this blue bar went up just a little bit. And we are going to go down to A5. We're going to add a new series, Southeast. And we're just going to quick key in the numbers here. And we are going to add this new series to our chart. So we're going to click on the chart and you'll see the outline of what is being included in our chart. And what we're going to do is actually position over this corner, uh, showing the data. And we are going to left drag down. And that will include our new row. Okay, and you can see Southeast is now part of our chart. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and click on Save.